everybody. Welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents, a list video. Yes, I have been tagged by Miss Karen at a Yarn Addict with Karen. Absolutely adore her. She's a fellow person in Georgia and she always just makes me smile when I see her videos. Now the tag that I'm in is what are the 10 things that you have to have with you when for crochet when you leave the house? Basically, that's how it goes. And I got to thinking, I'm like, do I even have 10 things? Because I don't do any real traveling or at least haven't in a few years. Um, so when I go someplace, it's like, okay, I'm going to be in the car for like 30 minutes. I want to bring something to work on as long as it's daytime. So I kind of brought in here my little go bag that I've had because I am leaving this afternoon. I have an appointment and it's about a 30 minute car ride away. So, you know, I got to have stuff with me. So what I bring in general, I do always have my sack of hooks and it also there's a tape measure in there. Um, and this is a sack from No Catchy Name, Miss Ella, one of her bags that I bought from her. I love it. It's got little kitties on it. I have also got my little plastic doohickey of plastic doohickeys stitch markers and there are two plastic weaving in needles in there although I am unlikely to weave in ends while riding in the car because I just I need lots of light and lots of stillness because I don't see real well um, I also bring my scissors where are my scissors there they are I got these out of the stationery section the school supply section up at the Walmart months and months ago these have a little cover on them and this also acts as an eraser but I've never tried that but yeah it's just a nice little pair of scissors and with that cover on them I can throw them in my bag and not worry about poking a hole in myself when I reach in to get them because that's a thing no matter what I'm working on I tend to bring some of these with me these are hair ties not necessarily to put my hair up but in case I want to just start working on a scrunchie. A scrunchie is something you can work on in the car. You don't have to think too much about it. And I'll just sit there and work on it. Just kind of, it helps me relax. And people who don't do this don't understand that. But that's what it does. Also, I bring whatever I want to work on. Usually something small. Now this, my hook has fallen into the bag. Because I did not do my stitch markers the way I normally do. I am working on little round washcloths. No pattern. I've just kind of started doing some bobbles and some straights and alternating my colors and carrying them up. This is out of Just Cotton that I got from Dollar Tree. And uh, yeah, this is one of the things I brought with me to work on. Oh, and this is one that I finished. And I will show it in finished objects uh, coming up on my vloggy video. Not bad for a, my first time doing a round washcloth, I think. I have also got with me, I almost always have two projects with me because I can't decide on one. This is still, and I have not worked on it anymore, um, that tank top that I started making out of the uh, dotted line yarn. Where did the label go? There it is. It's kind of pretty. It's very soft and nice to work with, but that's what I bring with me. Not 10 things necessarily. Um, I've got, you know, my assortment of hooks, and I guess if you count each individual hook, it's way more than 10, because <laughs> people ask me sometimes, well, what kind of hooks do you use? I have got the El Cheapo Cheapo ones from Wish.com, okay? These suckers, aluminum hooks of all different sizes. Hence the sound, aluminum hooks. I do have one sort of ergonomic one that I also got from Wish to try out. It was a random size, and I ended up with a really small one. But I did use this on some scrunchies. Um, it's a much smaller hook than I normally would use. What does it say? It says three millimeter. And I liked using it with a little grippy on it, so I may have to invest in some better hooks than my El Cheapy Cheapies. Or I have ordered a set of these from Wish, but of course, there's no telling when they'll get here. Could be next month. Could be December. We just don't know. Now do we? Anyway, those are the things that I carry with me when I leave the house. 
besides my pocketbook, so long as it's daylight. If it's not daylight, there's no sense in it because I can't see. I don't bother carrying my neck light with me because I'm not going to fiddle with that in the car when it's dark. Um, but that's it. Thank you, Miss Karen, for tagging me. I appreciate it. And now I'm going to tag three folks. So listen up. See if you're on the list. Anybody, anybody who wants to do this, please do it. Tell me what you bring with you when you leave the house. Uh, Miss Lisa, Ladybird Loves, you know I'm going to tag you because I want to know what you carry with you when you're going someplace. Also, hmm, let's see. Uh, Manic Bama Creations, that is Miss Neva. Neva, what do you carry with you when you go someplace? Because I know. You go places and, and, you know, it does help us keep our minds off of what's going on. So what do you like to bring with you with, with your crochet? And let's see, need a third person. How about Miss Hootie Hootenin? <laughs> Hootie Hootenin Crafts, or yes, the lady who loves the owls, who is such a blast, who makes these awesome Muppet Amigurumis. Oh my gosh. Seriously though, links to all three of those folks will be down below. I hope to see videos from everybody. I love these list videos because it lets us get to know each other a little better besides just from our little vloggy bits. Thanks for coming by and I will see you soon. Bye now.